We simply have to focus on this man. After four goals in his last match, what next? This is EA TV. Hello everyone, Anfield looking radiant today, the sun shining brightly. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Liverpool versus Wolverhampton Wanderers. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. starting lineup for Liverpool well it's a 4-3-3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers so it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide they can't allow him to be isolated the initial 11 for Wolves yeah the same formation and the same sort of game plan so this will all be about which individuals can get the better of their opponent this will be a tough battle. And they kick off here. Wang Hee Chan. And space for them here on the flank. And there the attack ends for now. Jota. Wanted to keep it, but couldn't. Now can they create something? He's in behind the defence here. He got a good palm on it. Fabinho. Gavi. Alexander-Arnold. Well, confirmation as we look at the table of newly crowned champions. I say that, but today is the day when they'll receive that much coveted piece of silverware. Oh, Derek, and this is a big moment here. And a goal it is! No long wait for the opener today! Well, let's have another look at this pass from Thiago. He has so much vision, and once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Huang Hee-chan. Now here's Johnny. Good technique displayed. Preferring to go infield. Johnny. And reading it absolutely superbly.
Jota. Giving the ball away. A Liverpool free kick coming up. Let's fly here. And you've got to say, meat and drink to those in the wall. Is it going to be? And a fine stop. And he takes it on! Well, it wasn't quite the quality of shot that we were all anticipating. And Liverpool might be able to cash in. And let's give credit to the defending. Really nice ball. That is a tackle and a half. Mateus Nunes now with Huang and Liverpool have the ball again Thiago on to Huang Johnny delivered into the area here well, no damage done. Well, Liverpool haven't dominated possession, as you can see, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. Well, that's right, preserving the lead and doing it really well. This looks threatening. A very effective clearance. Dangerous looking through ball. Couldn't grab hold of it. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. So almost at half time and they are making good use of home advantage. Still a bit of work to do though. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen? Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. It comes to nothing in the end. Well, spot on by that challenge. There's a slide draw pass. And struggling to get the shot off. Oh, tremendous goalkeeping. But now we see that the offside flag has gone up. Alexander Arnold. Well, they have it again. Over the top to Firmino. The delivery. Putting his body on the line. Sasha Kalajic. Well, that's a well-timed pass. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Ooh. 
Let's see about the delivery. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. And so the battle commences. So into the second half, Liverpool in front, but there might still be a few twists and turns before this is over. Sasha Kalajic, an effective challenge. Luis Diaz, Jota. Well, here it is again. It's a wonderfully weighted ball over the top. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. Back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Huang Hee Chan. Well, now he's let that run out of play, and it will be a throw-in here. Well, this is certainly the home of live football, EA TV, and looking forward to bringing you more action from the Premier League. It's Liverpool facing Crystal Palace. Trent Alexander-Arnold and Diaz has it oh big opportunity well 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 how many players would have the confidence to try that simply magnificent well let's have a look at the replay what a through ball this is by Thiago and the chip requires such good technique that's a brilliant bit of skill. What a goal. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Roberto Firmino. Thiago. And Diaz has it. Here is Thiago. Gabi. Just a reminder, we have more absorbing action from the Premier League coming your way here on EA TV. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers facing Tottenham Hotspur. Vandenberg. Now De Ligt, not a good pass. Nunes, it's with Danny Ceballos. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. It's a message for Javier Santiago, attending his first game here today. Thiago. So welcome, Javier, and I hope you have a fantastic game. Nunes. Not a great pass. Diogo Jota. And into the last 20 minutes. 
And now passing it through. Well, he put the cross into the right place, but no one able to finish it off. Poor pass under no real pressure. Coming off the pitch. And time for the change now. To be replaced by number 22, Nelson Samuel. And there's the delivery. And the corner far too close to the goalkeeper. Gavi. Diogo Jota. Liverpool have given it away. Firmino. Terrific block. And a substitution in the offing. Substitution for Liverpool. Coming off the pitch, number six, Thiago. Coming onto the pitch, number eight, Curtis Jones. Now sending it in. Oh, no degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. Nelson Semedo. Collins. It's with Danny Ceballos. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. And there it is. A goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at their best. Well, here's the replay. And you see it was a good finish. But the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. Well, that's a tale of four goals in this match now. 3-1 it is. So almost at full time and the home side very much in command. Stuart, what have you made of their overall performance? Well, they've controlled most of the game, haven't they? Their one and two touch passing has been sharp. The movement's been bright and they've scored some good goals. They just need to keep their concentration through to the final whistle. Throw in for Wolves here. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Can he finish? Still could be dangerous. Well, they can bring it out now. There to take it away. Running with the ball confidently. And there's the final whistle. In a way, this game had an academic quality about it. Everyone here, including the players, just waiting for the moment when they can celebrate their accomplishments. The trophy will soon be theirs. Well, it's been a long wait, but it's worth it. Celebrating in front of their own fans. They've been excellent this season. They fully deserve to be the champions. And that is a vivid picture of what we associate with this group of players. It's all about the team ethic. You can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. It's a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Well, for some of these players, it will be the pinnacle of their careers. They just have to take it all in now and realise what they've achieved here. It doesn't come much better than this, does it? And just look at those fans. They've followed their club everywhere. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time.
And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.